This is a tutorial for the Bootstrap Fashion DIY Dress Form Cover. So the intention of the cover is that you have a dress form already that's too small for you. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pad the, the dress form um, so that it matches your measurements and then you use this dress form cover to put it over your dress form so you have a dress form that fits you. So first we go on the Bootstrap Fashion website, patterns.bootstrapfashion.com. When you're ordering your pattern, there are two tabs to enter your measurements and body specifications, customize and fit adjustments. Make sure to do both. If you have questions about how to take a measurement, click on the little question mark next to the measurement and a pop-up box will appear with illustrations of how to take your measurement. We recommend you take your measurements several times a week before ordering because sometimes you do have slight fluctuations in your proportions and you want to enter in your most accurate measurements. Also, you should keep your measurements written down on your computer or a paper to make sure they're saved and easily accessible. You have the choice to choose seam allowance or not, and here in this video we are choosing no seam allowance, so we're going to add that in later. So now you can select the type of paper format you desire, and that means you can print at home if you choose A4 uh, format, or you can choose a different format of paper and print it out at your local FedEx or printing shop whatever works for you. Um, here in this example, we are choosing to print at home and then we're going to tape all the pieces together. Once you enter all your measurements and specifications, add the order to your cart and check out. So within 30 minutes, you should receive an email with the pattern to download and print out. Now when you print, you want to make sure to, to download the, the pattern that's an attachment to the email and print it at 100% scale or at actual size. And the first thing you do is you want to print out the page that has the 10 by 10 uh, centimeter box the square so that you can measure that and make sure that your pattern is printing at the accurate scale and the correct size. So we printed the paper at home and we taped the pattern pieces together. So now we cut out all the pattern pieces. And um, we didn't have seam allowance in our pattern so we add that in as we're marking the, the pieces on the fabric. And for the dress form cover, we're using a ponte knit, um, so it's stretchy. And it is something that you can actually try on, try on your body. So now we're going to cut out all the pieces from the fabric. And it's time to sew! So one thing about this pattern is you don't have to finish your seams. For a clean look, you do want to press your seams. So now you can try the dress form cover on. Make sure that you measure your dress form continuously as you add padding to make sure you get accurate measurements. Thanks for watching.